Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at Sierra Chart. We're going to talk about how to use the volume profile or volume by price study. The study is a way to view volume directly on your chart at each price level. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can add that and what it can do for us. So to add a volume by price or a volume profile study on our chart in Sierra Chart, we first need to access our uh, studies window here. So I'm just going to right mouse click here and select studies. Now if we scroll down, we'll notice that we can find this in the volume or the V area here. So it will be labeled volume by price. So we found it here, volume by price. I'm just going to add it to the studies to graph area here so that it will print on my chart. So uh, before we get into the settings, let's just kind of see what it uh, looks like on our chart. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see we do get volume bars here right on our chart, right overlaid over our price bars. Now, what you'll notice is by default, it will actually calculate the volume for all of the visible bars on the screen. So if I scroll throughout my chart, it's going to recalculate that and I'll show you for the visible bars that are on my chart here uh, that we can see. So we can see the volume levels as we scroll through our chart. We can also set this up in a lot of different ways to really customize it for your different preferences. So one way we can do this is to go back into our settings menu. So I'm going to go back into that studies area here. We're going to select the volume by price uh, study here and we'll select settings. Now in the settings area, here's where we can kind of customize this volume by price uh, study for our uh, specific preferences or however we want to use it. So you'll notice that one area here is the volume graph period type. So this is going to be how it calculates the volume. Uh, so if we take a look and we have uh, this drop down menu here towards the bottom of our chart, we have a lot of different options that we can choose from. Now I want to focus on these two or the first three here. We just saw the visible bars, uh, which we'll go ahead and calculate that for the visible bars that are actually on our chart that we can see at that moment. But we also have fixed by bar count and fixed by time. So if we choose, uh, we'll start with fixed by bar count here. So fixed by bar count, what that is going to do is it's going to let you choose a number of bars and a type of bar that you want to use for it. And it will calculate a new volume profile for that fixed period. So for example, we have a time period here for uh, uh, fixed by time. Uh, for now, we're going to use the number of bars for for fixed by bar count here. You can see fixed by bar count. So the default here is uh, for number of bars for fixed by bar count is 50 bars. So for every 50 bars, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and draw a new volume profile uh, on our chart. So I'm going to choose something like 25 bars here. We'll see how that looks. We'll select OK and then we'll select OK once more. And now you can see that on our chart here. We have a new volume profile for every 25 bars on our chart. We can scroll through our chart and see these different volume profiles right on our chart and kind of compare them to price and compare them to other volume areas as well. Now we can also do this another way instead of using a fixed bar count. So for every 25 bars, uh, we would have a new volume profile. We can also do it by time. So for example, every hour or every two hours or every day, we could have a new volume profile show up on our chart. So to change that, we're just going to go back to that studies menu here. We'll select settings. And we're now going to change the volume graph period type to fixed by time. So if we choose fixed by time here, we have the option to then use these time period type for fixed by time and time period length for fixed by time parameters. So it's currently set to one day. So for every day, it would draw a new volume profile. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. So we have different options. We don't necessarily have to use a day period. We have minutes, days, weeks, months, years, depending on uh, the time frame that you wanna see here. I'm going to choose minutes and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to choose uh, instead of a one minute here, I'm going to choose three hours. So I'll type in 180 minutes here and we'll select OK. So now we have a new volume profile for every three hours on our chart. You can see that as we scroll through our chart, just a little bit different than that fixed bar count. If you prefer to use the time uh, versus the bar count, you can absolutely do that. Now you can also uh, configure a few other options here that I want to mention within this video. If we go back to that settings menu, so I'm going to select uh, studies here and then we'll select settings. We have the option to also choose instead of fixed by time or fixed by bar or visible bars, we have a, a host of other options. So for example, we can choose a uh, time period. So maybe from a certain date to a, another date 
or another or a certain length to another length and some other options as well. There's also some options as far as the visual preferences and how it's calculated. Um, so for example, one of the options that we have here is to use transparent draw style. So if we wanna make that um, transparent, we can absolutely do that. So I'll select yes here, we'll see what that looks like. And you can see um, it's a little bit uh, more transparent and a little bit easier to see our price bars over the actual volume profile, but we still get that volume profile here on our chart as well. Uh, so just some other options is, uh, that happen to be in here. Now let's also take a look at another option here and I'm gonna show you another way to also um, set up these volume profile. So one other option we can do is uh, to display some data alongside of our volume profile bar. So for example, if I use that display volume in bars parameter here, I could show things like the total volume or uh, some other options, for example, number of trades or bid volume minus ask volume or ask volume minus bid volume. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the total volume option here. And we'll select OK. So now we can see the total volume uh, for this specific uh, volume profile bar here. You can see 24,333. And you can go ahead and compare those different options as well. Now, I want to show you one more option here. And I'm actually going to remove this volume by profile uh, study here on our chart. Um, we don't necessarily have to use that uh, fixed by time or fixed by period. Uh, uh, or uh, bars uh, option here, we can actually draw them individually on our chart. And we can do that using the tools menu. So if we go to the left hand uh, upper corner here, we can use the tools menu. And you'll notice there is a draw volume profile option. So if I select that draw volume profile option, uh, it will actually let me choose the period on the chart where I actually wanna see uh, those uh, that volume profile drawn. So if I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, place a rectangle here around the bars, and it will draw that volume profile for me. And I can continue to draw those so I can make them uh, smaller or, or bigger, uh, depending on where I wanna actually view that. So for example, we're a little flat in this area here, so I'll go ahead and draw a volume profile. You can see um, there. So this is to a way to kind of customize the volume profile as far as the specific periods uh, and times without having to add a new study every time. Uh, instead, you can kind of just pick the areas that you wanna choose on your chart and then draw the volume profile that way. And that's just as easy again as using this tools menu and then selecting the draw volume profile option. And you can see all I have to do then is click uh, and uh, kind of outline the area that I wanna draw that volume profile for. Now, say we get all of these volume profile options here. I have about four or five on my chart and I actually wanna get rid of them now. All I need to do is go back to that tools menu and then select erase all drawn volume profiles and then our charts back to our clean uh, slate here so we can go ahead and add other studies or uh, do some analysis just regularly on our chart. Thank you for viewing this video today. If you do have any questions on Sierra chart as far as these volume profile or volume by price studies and how to use them, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at optimusfutures.com.